I don't, I don't know. We're just out there playing. My helmet came down on me. Uh... <laughs> Is this live? Of course it's live. A little playful interaction with his quarterback. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he pulled it hard, but I don't know if Ryan Fitz. He's putting on the field. Other way. There you go. Yeah, there you go. You know it. Like quarterback. Quarterback after the big game. Quarterback giving me right. Yeah, boy. Fitz. Hey, DJ. I got like two more because DJ needs his stuff back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, you mean I, borrow, you I borrowed your stuff. Sorry. Yeah, I borrowed your stuff. Sorry, Deshaun. What, what, what is yours? Is any of that yours or is that? The chest hair is mine. <laughs> it's magic we saw of the first couple weeks. Miss Winston's four interception game. One dimensionalness to him. He's not really a powerful guy, but his quickness and his explosion was on display right there. Blitz on Fitzpatrick. He's going to run out of it as a flag flies, and he is bouncing off the tackler to get down to the 40. You know, for all the ladies out there, uh, I'm taken. I'm sorry. And for my wife, get the kids to bed. It's getting late. Walking on a dream. I do love this game. Hey, respect, a lot of respect, brother. I wanted to take you guys through because my teammates have put me on a bit of a time crunch here. What happens from the time the ball is set, 40 seconds with the play clock until we get the next playoff? Just kind of wanted to give you a brief example of uh, and some insight into what's going on in the huddle, some of the conversations, some of the talk. Uh, just so you guys can experience that. Um, play is run. Ball is set by the official. Clock's at 40 seconds. This is probably going to take like a minute and a half, not 40 seconds. But Clock is set at 40 seconds. Linemen saunter back to the huddle. Uh, I'm also over there. We start changing personnel. It's 38 seconds left on the clock. Linemen are in the huddle talking about the last play, the block. 36 seconds on the clock. I hear Mangold ask me about my beard and what kind of product I use. Okay. We get into discussion. We got 32 seconds left. A certain smell comes into the huddle. Okay, who did it? 28 seconds left on the clock. We start looking for Tommy Bohan and Quincy Anunwa, you know, the guys that eat all the protein. They're not in the huddle, not one of them. It's James Carpenter's dreads. 25 seconds left on the clock. At this point, I've got a radio in my helmet, and so I'm getting the play that's coming in from upstairs. Right, I got it. I got it locked in. I get in the huddle. Forte's in the huddle. I haven't seen him in the huddle all offseason, right? So I'm looking. He's got gray coming into his beard. I know he's like an experienced guy and all, but I'm not expecting the gray hairs. So I get thrown off for a second. Okay, focus. We're at 12 seconds. I call the play. I got to hurry the guys up to the line. Well, in this particular play, I got a signal, Eric Decker, into motion to go out to the end of the formation. Well, he makes eye contact with me as he's running by. Can you guys imagine sitting there trying to figure out what I'm going to do versus the defense and Eric Decker makes eye contact with you? <laughs> My mind goes blank. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he just looked at me. I think he winked. I'm not sure. You know, clock's at three, clock's at two. What do I do? I don't know. And so I snap the ball, and my safety net, who always tells me he's open, Brandon Marshall's out there. <laughs> you just throw him the ball up, and he catches it, right? And that's a successful play. But that's kind of my life and how it happens. He wanted to have playing time before he has to play. You're going into a bye week. 
yeah, you're going to practice him a little bit more, maybe with the first unit next week, and let Ryan Fitzpatrick rest his arm and ice his elbow and do all those things. But getting game time playing, I think, is important for the young quarterback. You see what Brian said. Lua, Tunga Bailoa, trots on the field for the first time. There's hardly anyone in this building, but it's still loud. Even Fitz is leading the ovation. You know, there were obviously no preseason games. So and my heart just hurt all day. Like, it was it was heartbreaking for me. Um, you know, and I – Flo kind of said what he said and said what he said to you guys as well, and that's the – decision and the direction that the organization is going in and obviously you know we've talked in the past uh, me and you guys about you know how I'm the placeholder and this eventually was going to happen no matter it, it was just a matter of kind of when not if and um, it's still just it, it broke my heart yesterday and um, you know it's a tough uh, tough thing for for me to hear and to now have to deal with, but um, you know, I'm gonna do my best with it. Yeah, college educated, she graduated. Any bill she can't front, her parents paid it. The show was far. You the only one with a car, your girlfriends. But being that she's a big fan, of course she made it.